Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys non-starter bolts for wild $45 million deal with rival, report. The opening hours of NFL free agency have not been kind to the Dallas Cowboys. Veteran pass rusher Durant's Armstrong becomes the latest veteran to leave Big D. The price tag might surprise people as Armstrong has agreed to terms on a new lucrative, three-year deal with the Washington Commanders for as much as $45 million. Free agent contracts cannot become official until Wednesday, March 13, 2024. Strong deal for new Commanders defensive end Durant's Armstrong, three years. Maximum value of $45 million, per a league source, for North Shore graduate, KPRC2 Houston's Aaron Wilson detailed in a March 11, 2024 message on X. This is a lot of money for a defender who only started one game for Dallas in 2023. For context, Armstrong's previous contract was a two-year, $12 million deal with the Cowboys. Durant's Armstrong landed a $45 million deal with the Commanders after starting just one game for the Cowboys in 2023. This is not to say Armstrong was not an important part of the Dallas defensive rotation. Armstrong played in all 17 games for the Cowboys in two straight seasons. The defender posted 38 tackles, 12 quarterback hits, 7.5 sacks and 7 tackles for loss. Dallas Cowboys Com's Patrick Walker believes Armstrong has been criminally underrated in recent years. Armstrong was stuck behind star pass rushers like Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence in Dallas. Cowboys outbid for former Pro Bowl starter in $24 million move, report. The Dallas Cowboys are officially in the market for a new starting running back as Tony Pollard has agreed to terms with the Tennessee Titans. According to CBS Sports' Jocena Anderson, Pollard has verbally agreed to a three-year, $24 million contract with the Titans. As a reminder, deals cannot become official until the new league year begins on Wednesday, March 13, 2024. The news not only means Dallas is searching for a new running back, but the Titans are expected to move on from the Derrick Henry era. There is sure to be a contingent of Cowboys fans rooting for the two running backs to swap places as Henry is also a free agent. The Athletics' Diana Rossini reported that the Cowboys, Giants and Vikings were also part of the Pollard sweepstakes. It is no surprise that the Titans offered the bigger payday to Pollard. The Dallas Cowboys were in on RB Tony Pollard, Rossini detailed in a March 11 message on X. The Giants and Vikings had their eye on him too. He took the bigger payday with Tennessee, per sources. Cowboys News. Tony Pollard did not take the rumored hometown discount to re-sign with Dallas The news comes days after the Dallas Morning News Calvin Watkins reported that Pollard was willing to take less money to remain with the Cowboys. This likely means that the Titans had a significantly better offer than the Cowboys. A person with knowledge of Pollard's thinking told the Dallas Morning News the former fourth-round pick is open to returning, even if the contract from another team is slightly higher than the Cowboys' offer. Watkins wrote in a March 6 story titled, Tony Pollard open to taking less for Cowboys return, will test free agency market. A team official, who spoke to the news on the condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of contract talks, expects Pollard to get as many offers as possible before talking to Dallas. Cowboys rumors. Could Dallas replace Tony Pollard with Derrick Henry or Saquon Barkley? Both Pollard and DeAndre Swift appear to be setting the running back market with similar three-year, $24 million deals. Could the Cowboys take a swing at Henry in free agency? ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported that there is buzz around the NFL that the Cowboys could pursue Saquon Barkley. In running back news, Derrick Henry is unlikely to return to Tennessee, essentially ending a historic eight-year run there. Baltimore has been linked to him, Fowler detailed in a March 10 article titled, NFL Free Agency Buzz, Last-Minute Intel on Signings, Trades. Then there are some people in the league who believe the Cowboys will pursue Saquon Barkley. We shall see on that. ESPN's Dan Graziano added that Barkley or Henry are likely only on Dallas radar if a discount becomes available. Spatrack projects Henry's market value to be a one-year, $10.3 million deal. 
Pollard played on the $10 million franchise tag last season for Dallas. I wouldn't get too excited about the idea of, say, Barkley or Henry ending up in Dallas, unless one of them sees his price drop down into the $5 minus $6 million range, which I think is unlikely. Graziano noted, Dallas does have some interest in bringing back Pollard, with the hope that he'd be better with one more year between him and his 2022 season-ending injury and with some better run blocking in front of him. Dallas Cowboys link to all pro to fill major need. The Dallas Cowboys find themselves in an awful salary cap situation, but as the offseason begins could benefit from another team slashing salary to get under the cap before free agency gets underway. As Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers showed during a blowout victory over the Cowboys in the NFC wildcard round, Dallas secondary can be vulnerable to the vertical passing game. According to CBS Sports, Jordan Poyer, who the Buffalo Bills recently released as a cap casualty, could be exactly the player the Cowboys need to solidify the secondary. Poyer will be searching for a new NFL home for the first time since 2017, Jordan Dijani writes. And while he turns 33 in April, he should see interest from contenders. In 2023, he recorded 100 combined tackles, one sack, and four passes defensed. In 2021, he was named a first team All Pro after tying a career high with five interceptions, and was named to his first Pro Bowl the following year in 2022. A defensive leader on the back end who can still play. Poyer could be the ideal veteran presence for new defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer to lean on both on the field as well as to help teach younger players a new scheme. Through his first 12 seasons, Poyer has produced 806 total tackles with 24 interceptions, 9 forced fumbles and 7 fumble recoveries. Remaining one of the top players at the position, Pro Football Focus points out that Poyer held opposing wide receivers to just 10.1 yards per reception when targeted en route to a 74.4 coverage grade and a 73 overall mark. What is Jordan Poyer's market value? Given the state of the safety market, with several marquee players at the position being released ahead of free agency even beginning, it's unlikely Poyer will break the bank. Because the Cowboys currently have just $8.8 million under the cap, Dallas will likely be searching for bargains closer to the bottom of the market in free agency. Poyer could wind up being one of the ultimate boom or bust signings across the league this offseason. Signing Poyer would represent adding a player who likely will fetch a one- or two-year contract, but who has surpassed 90 tackles all but one season since 2017. That level of consistency gives Poyer the potential to significantly elevate the Cowboys' secondary. Why Cowboys might not be aggressive in free agency Everything the Cowboys do this offseason is predicated on finding a way to lower quarterback Dak Prescott's cap number, be it by a new contract extension or restructuring his current deal. ESPN suggests Dallas might be one of the quieter teams in free agency. The Cowboys are at a significant inflection point, with a good amount of cap resources to extend their stars, QB Dak Prescott, WR CeeDee Lamb and LB Micah Parsons. Over the next year, former NFL GM Mike Tannenbaum writes. But it will leave them with little room to sign external free agents. However, they do have to decide whether they should re-sign Tyron Smith, who is unlikely to return, Tony Pollard and Stephon Gilmore. Dallas has a lot of high-priced veterans to worry about securing for the long term, which could make searching for free agent bargains with upside the Cowboys strategy in the coming weeks.